So a friend and I, Josh here, we uh, are working on a little synthesizer project. Uh, so we can take in inputs from uh, outside devices, switches, etc., and be able to turn into sound and be able to play it out speakers. So what we tried is we tried taking in this these data, putting it into a, a USB enabled AVR, and uh, using a control message to get it over to the computer. We originally tried uh, isochronous transfers and interrupt transfers and it's kind of funny we came right back to control transfers and they worked out the best. Once it was in the computer though we processed it and we had to have a way of getting the sound back out into the real world. The problem that we ran into is with ALSA, Jack, and many of the others that they have these extra buffers. So even though you may be having a period of say 256 samples, internally they could be storing up 30, 40 milliseconds worth of lag and that's just, you can't play that. So what we decided was, instead of trying to tear through this and go at the kernel or anything, we just decided to use another AVR with some control messages. So this AVR right here just sits here, waits for commands from, uh, from, sound, from the uh, computer to play sound and we only have a buffer on the AVR of 128 bytes and we are using control messages so they can't be queued up anywhere. That way we're sure that when we're sending data it is extremely fast. Right here we can see that we're transferring 273 in this case Hertz or not Hertz frames per second. Each frame is 16 bytes long and so it works out to approximately 44.1. We're not quite there but it, it's pretty close. And uh, for this one, I'm actually sending out, uh, well, will be sending out a, a Al City's Halicon song. So you can see it on the oscilloscope there. And I made it so that any time a button is down on the keyboard, that's what determines the output. I found there was actually extra lag on my computer, so it didn't work for timing that well. But it still shows off the demonstration. So if I hold control, you can hear over the stereo the sound card working just fine. Kids, we don't be punching magic pills.